Hello, and welcome to the last units of this MOOC. I believe by now we, we must have learned a lot. My name is Okechuko Okafo, and in this unit we'll be looking at referencing OER materials. By the end of this unit, you will be able to cite OER materials and also differentiate the various citation styles. Referencing or citing a source means that you show within the text of your work that you took these words, ideas, figures, or images from another place. A citation style is a set of rules on how to cite resources in academic writing. Whenever you refer to someone else's work, a citation is required to avoid plagiarism. Citations are short ways of uniquely identifying a published work, for example, your book, article, chapter, and website and so on. They are found in bibliographies and reference lists and are collected in articles and book databases. Citations consist of standard elements and contains all the information necessary to identify and track down the publishers which include the author's name, title of the books, article and journal, date of publication, page numbers, volume and issued numbers, so that's for articles, then URL, that's linked to the site where necessary. Now, when we talk about citing OELs, what do we mean? Of course, OEL stands for Open Educational Resources, and in essence, then they are freely available, openly licensed resources, textbooks, medias, videos, articles, and more. Now, if you want to use OER, then you need to know how to cite OER. What citing is called in OER? Citing openly licensed material, whether they are images or videos or textbooks, is often referred to as attribution in OER world. Now, to attribute something, you are giving credit. It's the same idea as citing just you know a different term for it now for instance as you can see on your screen like citing also you know refers to attributing why citation is also the same as attribution you know so you can cite or attribute openly licensed materials in different ways let's look at the two main methods of referencing an oer you can cite oer using the tor method and cite OER using the regular citation. The two methods we are going to look at is the TOR method and the regular citation style. Cite OER using the TOR method. The basic format for attributing OER using the TOR method is the title, author, and license. In other words, the T means the title, the A, author, and the L license which also refers to the open license that is being used for the particular you know um you know for, for the particular material you're actually working on you can use this method to cite any type of OER, which includes textbook image videos and many more now let's use open attribution builder to create a tall citation for oer this Open Attribution Builder is an online form that was created by Open Washington and you can use it to create any kind of openly licensed material according to the TOR method describes. Note that there are additional fields in the form as you can see on your screen, you know, but you only need to put in the info applicable in the source, you know, as it applies to whatever material that you need to cite. And there are also little question marks that provide additional info for each of the fields. Now, as you can see on your screen, you have the attribution builder, you know, and of course, to actually access this um, attribution builder, you can also visit. The attribution builder is a user-friendly form from Open Washington, and this helps you to build consistent and co concise attribution for citing open materials you find and use, and to attribute yourself when you create something that you want to share. This includes both the Creative Commons license and the public domain designations. Citing OER using a regular 
citation style. Using the regular citation style and adding the Creative Commons license info. If your instruction prefers you cite your resources using a regular citation style, like your APA, MLA, or Chicago, then you just simply add the Creative Commons license or the public domain license info at the end of, you know, of your regular citation. Now, we'll be looking at the MAL, you know, I'll just give a brief explanation, but basically I'll show us how to, you know, reference using the MAL and um, OEL. The MAL, which is currently in the 8th edition, was developed by the Modern Language Association and is especially popular in language and literary studies. MAL uses parenthetical citations containing the author and the page number. Upper Styles was created by American Psychological Association and was originally used in psychology and social sciences. Now, today we have many other disciplines that also use this APA. APA Citation Style uses an auto system of parenthetical citation. And the, the, the other one is the Chicago. Chicago Style is published by the Chicago Manual of Style. You know, um, there are two variations of this Chicago style. The Chicago A, you cite the source in a footnote or endnote, while the Chicago B, you use a parenthetical auto day citation in the text. Now, this is also used in sciences and so on. Now, let's do an example of an image that I want to cite using MAL. That's using the eighth edition. First step. Create a regular citation. Firstly, you will need to cite the image, video, whatsoever material you're looking for, like you normally would using the MLA citation style. But uh, I'll be also be sharing some um, handouts on how to, you can use uh, your citation using MAL citation, which will be attached on your on your resource page of this unit. The basic formula for citing images in MAL style. As you can see on your screen, owner, author, creator. Next, title of the image, title of the website, publisher if applicable, publication date, URL, and access date. Example of citing an image in MLA style, you can see Claypool. That's the, the author's name, the uh, Robert, and so on. You know, this image is actually gotten from Flickr, and the, and the date it was accessed is there. The, the link to the image itself is also there, as you can see on your screen. Second step, adding the license info at the end. Like I said, if you need to um, use this... Um, um, citing this uh, site, if you need to use this citation style, you know, basically the only difference there is that you just need to add the Creative Commons license at the end of your, your citation. And this next step will be adding the license information at the end of the regular citation. So this is where you need to pay attention to the license that comes with, you know, with each of these videos or images you choose to use, you know. That's where knowing those symbols like the Creative Commons, um, CC by SA, and so on comes handy. You can either use the acronyms like CC by SA or the text version like, you know, Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike, which is in text version of CC by SA. Of course, we discussed uh, Creative Commons licensing in um, week one. So for images or videos, etc., that are in public domain, just add public domain as the license. For resources that allow for educational use, like probably you got your resource from Khan Academy, you know, videos, just add the phrase educational used allowed in place of the license info. Example of adding license information for an image for the complete citation. As you can see on your screen, this is what it should look like you know this is what it should look like you have the, the author's name you have the the, the uh, publisher's name you have um, 
the name of the image, you have the link, you have the date and, you know, other information. And most importantly, you have the license of that particular image. So by now, I'm sure that you must have understood how to, you know, license your OERs. And for further readings, I will want us to look at some of the manuals that have been posted. Or, or we go to the resource section of our MOOCIT to get more on, you know, um, referencing our OERs materials. Thank you and have a wonderful week.